UPK 53rd Annual Low Passover. 53rd Annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down. You're here tonight to get a chance to be righteous enough to be worthy of God. Come on to save you. That's right. It's going down. The Lord's 53rd Annual Passover. When we say we no coward, we stop that business. We no cowards up in here. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites. The IHG Hotel, 301 Tucker Lane, Cocoa Beach, Florida, 32926. Don't touch with all your dishes, pots, and sports knives. I gotta like this. This is like an apartment. You know? And a hotel. You know what I mean? This here right here is about to be holy ground. This is gonna be holy ground. All our beautiful, wonderful brothers and sisters from all over the world. You understand? We can boast that now. Brothers and sisters coming not only from this every state, but from all over the world. I heard the numbers this year is ridiculous. We had to buy out the whole hotel. Friday, April 15th, at the Space Coast Convention Center. My camp undefeated. You cannot debate. You just want the clout. We just want the grace. I'm just trying to get it. This is going to be glorious. Shalom. Y'all about Jimmy O'Shea, break a thumb. You here, tune in live. Y'all with Shamala Thoughts, Jimmy O'Shea. Another episode here with ISUPK Virginia. Uh, the Bible is black, you understand? Of course, when we say black, we're talking about all 12 of our tribes, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, all 12 of our tribes. The Bible is black. Highlighting race in the Bible. The Christian church has lied and taught our people that race doesn't matter, race is not in the Bible, or is absolutely the contrary, according to the Bible. This is the Lord's people. This is the Lord's nation. His race of people, of the God of the Bible, is not the God of all people. You understand? These 12 tribes, the Bible is Black, so-called Hispanic, so-called Native Americans, all 12 of our tribes. And today we're going to get into the field. You understand? The Bible is black, the field, all right? What do I mean by the field? We're going to get it in the scriptures and show you that all throughout history, not only is the Bible talking specifically about us, but it even vividly describes what we are going through and seeing on a regular and day-to-day -day basis. All of our tribes went through this, you understand? The cotton field, the fruit field, the sugarcane field, plantations, this is all written and recorded in the Bible. We're going to start in Exodus chapter 1 and verse 14. And we were in the Egypt. Of course, everybody know the story of Egypt. But what most people don't know is that the people in Egypt were the Israelites. And we were in slavery in Egypt, just like we in captivity here in America. But you don't call a considerate captivity. But at the same time, you wonder why the police are killing only Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Why Immigration Customs Enforcement is only attacking Native Americans, the only attack is so-called Mexicans. You understand? So-called El Salvadorians, Central and South Americans, so-called Haitians. Why America goes to war for 20 years with the Afghans and the Arabs, but the criminal threat from the asshole countries is talking about so-called, you know, Hispanics. Like, there's a reason for that. Why America says all men are created equal and liberty and justice for everybody after they murdered 77 million North American Indians and countless millions of the Mexicans to steal California and Texas, which still belongs to our Mexican brothers and sisters. So we're gonna get this here today, the field, Exodus chapter one and verse 14, and, made, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage, meaning hard bondage and labor is what we were doing in America. 
I mean, what we were doing in ancient Egypt. And your mind, because of how Christianity has trained you, has trained our people, you think that you are working a job. You think that you're working a job, you're making ends meet, and this is how you survive. Survival is not living. You understand? Life is not supposed to be about survival. Our people are in captivity and don't realize that we are in captivity because the Christian church has made you comfortable and made you believe that America is your home, that we are part of America. God bless America, pledge allegiance, salute the flag, New Year's Day, Father's Day, 4th of July, Independence Day, vote for our leaders. That is not our culture. That's not us. It's not for us. It's never been for us. And every opportunity America has, they show that it is not for so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All two years, they march for Black Lives, Black Lives. Two Asian people get punched in the face. A couple people get shot. They got to stop Asian hate bill. You got a holiday from Jill, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. The Asians got to stop Asian hate bill. And they are not getting hung from trees. They're not getting killed at traffic stops. They're not getting gunned down like Ahmaud Arbery or shot through their house like a Tatiana Jefferson. They're not getting a knee on their neck for, for eight minutes like George Floyd. They're not getting gunned down at the drop of a dime like Tamir Rice, like the police in Ohio show up and immediately start the shooting and killing people or jump on the hood of a squad car and empty a gun. It's standing over top of a person shooting, firing down on them, standing on the hood of their car as they are unarmed. This is not happening to them. They're not chasing, you know, security guards down and shooting them in the alley. They only do that to Hispanic brothers and sisters. You understand? Native American brothers and sisters, which doesn't even make the news. You wouldn't believe how many Hispanic and Native brothers and sisters, they don't even consider them people to report the news on in the vast majority of cases. That's why we have to show and highlight and explain that the Bible is black and written about us. The same thing went on with our people in Egypt while we had sellout leaders like your, your religious leaders, your political leaders, your black caucus, your NAACP, your Southern Poverty Law Center, all your civil rights Negroes that made you believe that you are a part of an empire that absolutely de destroyed your people that exists solely off the destruction that it does to your people. Like that's how Egypt functions. That's how America functions. So when it says in Exodus 1 and 14, and they made their lives bitter, our lives are bitter. That's why our people are strung out on, on syrup and pills and weed and cigarettes that's killing us and a horrible drug addiction that's killing us because life is bitter. You aren't allowed to just flourish and succeed. If you want to be black and sell records, they're not going to let you sell records. You understand? They're going to take over your music industry and steal your music and steal your inventions and steal your rights. You're going to get ahead. And when you get ahead, they're going to raise the price of food, rent, insurance, put tolls, everything. And you're not going to reap any of the benefits, even though you're constantly going to have to be working and slaving to give more and more. They take taxes out and don't represent you. You understand? You pay taxes and taxes. Your children's school system is still horrible, no matter how much taxes. Like, this is what it's saying. And they made their lives bitter. They're making our lives bitter. You own the house, but you got to pay taxes to the land. And if you don't come up with the tax money, they're going to come back and take your house and take the damn land anyway from your kids. Like, you die, you're still in debt. They're going to pass the debt along to your children. Like they make your lives bitter to where you're going to be at work 15, 16 hours a day, hours back and forth and travel from work to and from. And you're not going to get to see your kids or your spouse. You're not going to get to raise your kids. You're going to have to send your kids to some stranger to do the best that the teacher can with 40 kids in the classroom. The other kids are going to raise your children. You understand? Like this is what the scripture is talking about. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage. You on the construction site working hard bondage, all the roads and bridges and everything. Slaves built America. Slaves are building your capital cities, building your towns, your houses, your road works. These 12 tribes are doing this building. You understand? In all manner 
of service in the field. All their service wherein they were made to serve was with rigor. It was harsh. It was cruel. What is the service of the field that the scripture is talking about? What is this field that the Bible is referring to? I'll tell you what this field is. Here's an example. These are slaves in what's known as a cotton field in Mississippi, in Louisiana, in Alabama, in Virginia, in Monticello, in Charlottesville, in Richmond. This is the service of the field. This is the field that the Bible is talking about. You picking thousands and thousands of pounds of cotton to make your oppressors rich so that they can create J.P. Morgan Chase and Wells Fargo and the Bank of America off of all of the money that you make for them picking cotton for hundreds of years for free. This is what it's talking about. What else is in that field? Sugar cane. You're picking and cut picking cotton and sugar cane all in Haiti, all in Louisiana, all in Brazil, all in Colombia, all in Puerto Rico. You're picking sugar cane at the sugar cane plantations under the Portuguese, under the French, under the Dutch, under the British. You understand? All in those aisles, man, making them filthy rich. What else are you picking? Oranges. Uh, Hispanic brothers picking 90 pounds of fruit per day. Oranges strawberries, blueberries. This is why you go to the grocery store and your blueberries and strawberries and tomatoes are $2 a pound instead of $15 a pound because our oppressor is not in the field picking his fruits. That's why they're coming up with so many outbreaks of viruses and things because you got people in hundreds of acres with no restrooms, no way to relieve themselves of nothing in absolute captivity, slaving for pennies. These Hispanic brothers have to pick 90 pounds. You know how much 90 pounds is? 90 pounds of oranges per day. And you get less than $1 for 90 pounds of fruit. Like when the Bible says the manner of service that they did was with rigor. This is what we did in Egypt. This is still what we are doing to this very day. You understand? They still in Mississippi right now. It's black people still picking cotton. The Mexicans were picking cotton. Native Americans were picking cotton. You understand? Still here, cutting sugar cane. Still in Brazil. You understand? In Brazil, cutting sugar cane to this very day. You understand? Like our people have not gotten free from anything. How can you get free if you still underneath for the same people that had you in captivity for hundreds of years? How are you free? If you work for me, if your family worked for me for 400 years and they never earned a dime, then one day you'll let go. And now you need food. And in order to get food, you have to come back to me to buy food from me. In order to get a place to live, you got to come back to me to buy a place to live. If you want running water, and heat and power and electricity, you got to come to me. If you want to collect water that falls from the sky, if you collect too much rainwater, they will find you money. You go get you a power grid and get solar energy and you don't get permission from our oppressor, they will find you for collecting too much of the sun's solar energy without them being able to regulate it. You want to build on your own land, you got to get permission. You build and make additions to your house, you didn't get permission, you can be fine. You got to get a building permit from our oppressor to add on to your own home. Talk about some freedom. Free who? Free how? Free where? You understand? Like this is what's going on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 30. It says, thou shalt betroth the wife and another man shall lie with her. That's what's going on, man. That happened all throughout slavery, and that's what's going on right now. That's what they're doing, man, to our Hispanic brothers and sisters in these INS detention centers. Other men, they having sex with wives, sisters that already have husbands. And then, uh, you understand, raping sisters and deporting them out of the goddamn country, back to Haiti and Puerto Rico, I mean, Dominican Republic, and back to Mexico and Guatemala and El Salvador. That is what it's talking about in the scriptures, man. That's what's going on. That is what has been going on. This is what was prophesied to happen all the way back in the days of Moses. 
This did not happen to all people. You understand? It says, thou shalt build a house. You building a house. You building and working in the construction site. Who's all on the construction site and the roads and the bridges? At one time, it was all black men. At another time, it was Native Americans working in skyscrapers. They were known as the Skywalkers. That's where you get your Luke Skywalker, you understand, from uh, Star Wars. That comes from the tribe of Gad. Those are our people. Everything great and wonderful that makes this society glow comes from so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It said, thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. You build in houses and houses, and then go back to your hole in the wall where you live, because you're building the governor's mansion and plantations and palaces and luxury, wonderful homes and roads and cities and bridges for your oppressor, just for you to go back to your communities where our people struggle for every crumb that we get, where they own the buildings with the billions of dollars of wealth that they get from us and they don't fix anything. Not the elevators, not the walls, not the windows, not the heat, not the AC, not the furnace, the water pressure, not the lead paint, the lead pipes, the horrible drinking water, they don't fix anything. Why is that? Because the Lord said this was prophesied to happen. This is not happening to all people. You understand? It says, thou shalt plant a vineyard. You working in a vineyard, the field. What grows in the vineyard? You got grapes. You got all kind of fruit that's on the vine, cucumbers, all kind of fruits and things. Just like you see in here, you plant in these vines and these vineyards and shall not gather the grapes. Meaning these grapes are not going to go to you. They're going to go to Giant. They're going to go to Safeway. They're going to go to Food Lion and Shoppers and Kroger and Trader Joe's. But they're not going to go to you. They're going to go to our oppressors. You understand? The fruit of thy land. All of this land belongs to the so-called Mexicans. This land belongs to the so-called Native Americans. All, everything that the land produces belongs to a so-called Mexican. Belongs to a Native American belongs to the Navajo and the Cherokee and the Cheyenne, the same Native Americans that our oppressors sought to wipe out, commit genocide and enforce them to live on a reservation at the, at the butt of a musket by a gun barrel, the Indian Removal Act of the 1800s after centuries of wars, murdering off the Native Americans, murdering off the Mexicans, changing the borders to steal Texas, you understand, and steal California, you understand, and then rename it and draw lines and make it seem like this land belongs to our oppressors. It said, a nation, the fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, meaning you don't know this nation. You think Becky and Heather and Susie is so sweet and wonderful, Snow White and Sleeping Beauty, you didn't know that Sleeping Beauty was really caring. You didn't know that Permit Patty was going to call 911 on your baby trying to sell lemonade and water so that they don't sell drugs, so that they don't steal cars, so that they aren't committing armed robberies. They just want to sell sandwiches and lemonade and wash windows. You understand? And now Permit Patty is going to call the police with the hopes that they show up and murder your Black and Hispanic sons and daughters. You understand? This is what the scripture, you didn't know that Snow White that you watched your whole life as a child, you didn't know that Snow White was Permit Patty. You didn't know that Cinderella and Ariel from The Little Mermaid, you didn't know that that was Karen. You thought that she was so sweet and wonderful and Mary Jane and Princess Belle from Damn Beauty and the Beast. You didn't know that that was Karen. You didn't know that that was Emily Rhodes. You've been in church your whole life thinking that the white man is not unto God when the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of according to the scriptures. You didn't know that because your preachers don't teach you the truth about what's in the Bible. The word devil means deceiver and they deceived you into thinking race didn't matter while the Chinese set up Chinatown, the Koreans set up Koreatown, the Vietnamese set up little Vietnam, the damn Arabs got their own language and everything everywhere setting up towns for their people, the East Indians setting up towns for their people, Got the 7-Elevens and the Slushies and Slurpees and Blimpy Subs and damn Subway. They setting up shop for their people. They carving out markets in the earth for their race of people to pass it down. 
The Ethiopians just swooped in and took all the parking lot jobs. And here you are like a dummy thinking race does not matter. We all the same. We the melanated people of the earth. All of this so silly slave nonsense that allows everybody to corner a market while you sit with your arms out like a dummy trying to join everybody. Getting robbed and exploited to no end by everyone, everywhere your people are. You understand? That's what the Bible is talking about. A nation which thou knowest not, eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. So shalt thou be mad for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. That's why people are strung out on drugs, man. You see, and I'm working. I'm working. I went and got another job. I'm paying my money. I'm paying my taxes. Then they're going to raise the goddamn rent. Then they're going to raise the price for the insurance. Then the phone bill is going to go up. Then this is going to happen. I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. In between this bill and that bill, do I pay the lights? Do I pay the rent? Do I pay the water? Do I not pay the car note and pay the phone bill? Do I not pay the cable and pay the light bill? Uh, what, what, what do we do? do? Do we not go see the doctor because the medicine is too much? Do I go to the hospital or not because I don't have insurance? The Lord said you shall be crushed and oppressed always. You want to go to the NFL thinking that this is your ticket and you're going to meet racist owners like Bill Parcells that's going to call you SOBs if you don't stand for your slave master's pledge of allegiance, but that he uses to send his racist law enforcement to break your necks like Freddie Gray and break your backs and sever your spine like George Floyd and gun you down in the streets at traffic stops like Terrence Crutcher or shoot you through your house or do a raid on the wrong house like Breonna Taylor and Alberta Spruill and kill you in your damn sleep. I mean, all of a sudden you're not a human being again. Like the Lord said, we would be oppressed and crushed always. You gonna go in Esau's military and think that you are part of his force until you find out that you are just the slaves of the Americans, that they don't look at you as equal, not in any field, anywhere. Go ask Colin Powell. Ask him how equal they looked at him as the top military commander on the planet. Go ask Condoleezza Rice. You understand? Go find out if race doesn't matter. Ask COVID if race matters, how it starts in China and immediately kills Black people and Hispanics and Native Americans more than everyone else on the planet, because God said race matters. You understand? It says, so shalt thou be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see, and thou shalt become an astonishment. They're going to look and wonder and say, how is it these people have been here so long and they're still on the bottom? How is it it's so many of them and they still on the bottom? They, they sing. How is it they make all this music, but they don't own their record labels? How are they in the NFL and NBA making all the plays and the highlights, but they don't own any other sports teams? How are they the ones filling up the stands in the colleges with their marching bands and their step shows and they, they, they fought their sports programs with all the black running backs and the quarterbacks and the point guards and shooting guards, but they don't own the schools. They don't own the teams. They don't have their own league. Because Martin Luther King told us to integrate, and that's why these curses are coming upon our people following these Christian preachers. And a proverb, meaning a warning, saying, don't be like those people. Don't hang out with them. Don't be around them. Those are the workers. Don't, those are the workers. They're the underclass. That's what they're there for. They're entertainment. They'll sing for you. They'll play sports for you. They'll entertain you. They'll dance for you. They'll make music for you. That's what they are. That's what they're for. Like a proverb. Indian is a proverb, a byword. You're an Indian. That's Native American. That's a byword. The word Indian means savage. You understand? You're the byword. They'll say the, the, uh, the urban community or the rough side of the tracks, the riffraff, the bad element. You understand? Or the, or the gang member or cartel or illegal immigrants. You understand? Or migrant workers. You'll be a byword. You know, when you hear migrant workers and illegal, even though the majority of the illegals in America are the Chinese and the East Indians, when they say immigrant and immigration problems and immigration reform, they're not talking about the Chinese. 
They're not talking about the Afghans. They're not talking about the Arabs. They're not talking about the Africans. They're talking about Hispanics. Why is that? They're talking about Haitians because these are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. You understand? Among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. We were called, we were an abomination to the Egyptians. We were known as shepherd kings or the Hyksos under the Egyptians. You understand? The Arabs had all kinds of words for you. Abdi, they call you slave. You understand? The Africans had words for you. They call you the Akata or the Kata. All kinds of proverbs and bywords because our people have never wanted to obey the Lord and have always sought to join and get up under some other people in their culture while they stand on us with both feet and we try to say, see, everybody's equal. See, we Muslims too. We Christians too. I'm a Democrat too. You understand? We, we all Republicans. We all one human family. We all bleed red. Like these silly things that our people believe because the Christian church has left us void of our true identity because they lie on the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 and 15 says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, what is the voice of the Lord? To observe and to do all his commandments. There's more than 10 commandments. It's a commandment to not abort your babies. That's a murderer. It's a commandment to not have sex with another man's woman. That's, that's adultery. You understand? That's a death penalty offense. That's why so many shootings and murders that you think is random and unprovoked and tragic, the Lord is killing our people. You don't know why all the kids is getting shot because the Christian church is not teaching you sex is marriage. And you don't have permission to leave a woman once you have sex with her or to have sex with somebody else's woman or for you to leave the first man you have sex with if you are a woman or to be a man dressing like a woman or a woman dressing up and carrying herself like a man. That's against the Lord or a woman teaching the Bible. That is against the Lord. But again, the Christian church ain't teach us and we suffer and die, which is why it says to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes. What are his statutes? Keeping his high holy days. While you celebrating Christmas and Halloween and Thanksgiving and New Year's Day, the Lord said we're not supposed to celebrate those things. That's why a ton of our people get killed celebrating these evil holidays. You understand? All the evil that happens to our people always wonder, well, why did this happen? Such a senseless act of violence. The Bible says a curse will not come without a cause. There's a reason. And why you went and celebrated 4th of July, why you came back in and you found out your baby got shot in the house. There's a reason why this happened. You understand? While you at the birthday party, a Hispanic brother was at his, his daughter's fourth birthday party or something at Chuck E. Cheese. He carrying a cake and he get into Chuck E. Cheese and a shooting break out in the parking lot while he's celebrating the birthday party. Bullets hit him. He dies in the parking lot holding the birthday cake with his two daughters inside the Chuck E. Cheese on her birthday. Now, why are senseless acts of violence like this happening? Because the Lord kills our people for not obeying his laws, statutes, and commandments. You are not allowed to celebrate birthdays if you are Black, Hispanic, or Native American. The Lord is going to have a shooting breakout and you're going to die on your daughter's birthday. You're not allowed to celebrate 4th of July. The Lord is going to make bullets fly through the house and hit your baby in the crib. You are not allowed to celebrate Halloween. The Lord is going to send evil and your kids are going to get kidnapped and drugged and go missing. Like thousands and thousands of Black, Hispanic, and Native American children are missing all over America. You are not allowed to celebrate Thanksgiving. The Lord is going to send evil, but we don't know that. That's why the scriptures is saying to observe and do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, if we did not do this, that all these curses shall come upon thee. COVID is a curse. AIDS is a curse. Herpes and gonorrhea is a curse. Life without parole is a curse. Gang violence is a curse. Single motherhood is a curse. Not having a husband to help you raise those children is a curse. Not knowing your mother and father is a curse. Growing up in the shelter is a curse from the Lord. Not knowing your identity is a curse. Burying your children before you die, that is a curse. 
gun violence, killing your black, Hispanic, Native American sons, that is a curse. Child molestation is a curse. Drug addiction is a curse. You can't get rich and make this curse go away. It didn't work. It didn't work for Richard Pryor. It didn't work for Whitney Houston or Prince or Michael Jackson or Nate Dogg or Pimp C or Juice World. Money does not solve this problem. These curses come from the Lord and the Christian church lies and say you blessed and highly favored to everybody while we disobey the Lord and God's curses take us out because they are not men of the Lord, man. The only men that God set up in the ISUPK. The Bible said curse. He said all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That's why we end up number one in everything in such a short period of time. You understand? Cursed shall thou be in the city. Meaning we go to the city, the city is going to be filled with curses, man. Same things I just mentioned. Cursed shall thou be in the field. We leave the city and go move to the suburbs. You understand? You're going to be trying to escape the violence in Haiti and the cartels all in Central and South America. And you're going to come to America and our oppressor is going to kidnap our children and put them in dog cages in INS detention centers and do all kind of the same slave experiments that they did on us in captivity, they're doing those same experiments to this day on our Mexican brothers, our Guatemalan and Haitian brothers, man. They're doing these exact same things to our people. That is why it's imperative that we get back and serve the Most High, that we keep his law, statutes, and commandments, that we come into the truth and learn how to serve the God of our fathers and get out of all of these religions, these churches, these mosques, all of these kind of philosophies that are not based on the God of our people, which is the God of the Bible. This has been another episode of The Bible is Black. Y'all tune in for the next episode. Shalom. I-S-U-P-K, 53rd Annual Lord's Passover. Hey, Shalom, Israel. This is the I-S-U-P-K down in Florida. I'm Kevin the 10,000 Shamoy Yalo. We're here to let you know. 53rd annual Lord's Passover is going to be held down here in Florida. It's going down in South Florida, Cocoa Beach. Friday, April 15th, 2022. The lamb, the wine, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, you understand? Good music, good weather, palm trees, the whole nine. This is going to be glorious. Book your hotels now at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites, 301 Tucker Lane, Cocoa Beach, Florida, 32926. April 15th and the 16th. Don't just book for the 15th. Book for the 15th and the 16th. It's going down Friday, April 15th at the Space Coast Convention Center. Moses told Pharaoh we need three days to be able to go out into the wilderness and serve our power the way he commands. You're going to have to get that off with your, with your boss, with your slave master. So make sure you in the building. Cocoa Beach, Florida, April 15th and 16th, 2022 is going down. We'll see y'all there. Shalom.